so it is the month of love right it's valentine's month we actually have 14 days 13 after today 13 days until the big day and so today i wanted to show you a heart let's read what it says the exact word heart-shaped valentine posing so back a couple of weeks ago I did a posy design out of this book. So this is, it's called Victorian Nosegays, and I'll push it. Victorian Nosegays, it's backwards, so y'all forgive me. Um, but it is just a little book, actually one of our sweet customers brought to us. Um, we have lots of sweet little customers that'll bring us faces and just different things, and one somebody brought us this book. So back a couple of weeks ago, um, we made a posy out of this book, and it had carnations and solid ego, and I can't even remember, I think berries. But it also, this book had a heart-shaped Valentine posy. And so it, it used red roses, a white rose in the center, some baby's breath or gypsophilia, and then some mixed greenery. And so I thought, let's do that today. I thought this would be really fun. When you come on, please tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing today and tell me where you're from. We love to know that. Um, so we have, Victoria will be in here in just a second. She was making, finishing up an order. Um, but please talk to us, ask us questions, all the things. She'll be in here and she can read all the comments. Um, if you would do me a favor over here on Facebook, here comes Oso. <laughs> over here on Facebook, if you like our videos or like this one in particular, if you would give us a thumbs up or a heart um, and make sure that you can hear us. If you can hear me do that also, um, because sometimes the audio isn't as easy. Okay, mister, are you just gonna help me? You're gonna help me over on YouTube if you enjoy our videos if you'll give us a thumbs up that helps helps people to see our videos so I did put a link to this little book in our right up above in the description on Facebook um, it's an I gave you the Amazon link there are probably other um, other places you can find this less expensive I know that Allison um, Claire put a link the last time I used it and it was it was really inexpensive but I did put a link so you could see exactly the book that I'm using so I'm gonna read to you what it says in the book it says heart-shaped Valentine posy it says select about 14 partially opened red rosebuds a cream rose for the center, and a handful of snow white gypsophilia. And gypsophilia is baby's breath, just in case you didn't know. And some frondy leaves like fern or carrot. Cut off the rose stems, twist the flowers onto medium thick wire, hold the cream rose in your hand, and surround it with gypsophilia. Arrange the rose buds, bending the wires to coax them into a heart shape. And then surround the posy with more gypsophilia and a collar of leaves. Bind the stems together with wire and then with cream satin ribbon. So we're gonna try to put this together real quick. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be easier than I think it will be. So we'll play with it and see. There's Victoria, she is here. And Osa is in the center of my design table. So we're just gonna work around him. So I did wire, and I will show you the picture. I don't know if y'all can see it very well, but there is the picture. So these are all hand-drawn pictures. I don't know if you can see that at all over there on the on YouTube. Um, they're all hand-drawn pictures, so they're always interesting to see. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to take these roses and to wire their stems. So I'm going to take just a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut his little head off. I'm gonna cut, cut the stem off. So I left it really, really short, probably about two inches. And then I'm going to take um, a long florist wire. So this is a 21 gauge florist wire and I'm gonna press it right through the stem up toward the head and push it all the way through. And then I'm going to bend that stem right down. So that's what it looks like there. And then I'm going to take corsage tape, 
Corsage tape, excuse me, my nose is itching. Corsage tape is a paper tape that has been infused with wax. Am I bothering you, sir? And so it's going to kind of stick. It's kind of tacky and it'll stick to this stem. So I'm going to take it and twist it around the top and then slowly twist and pull that tape all the way down that stem. Just twist and pull. And so it coats that stem. So it looks just like that. And I've got two more. I did the first several. I think I did a dozen. So cut that stem off. Grab that wire. Press it through that stem. Bend it down. Take your tape and just tape it. Is everybody talking to us? Can you see it, Victoria? Um, Allison says, I love Osa being right there in the middle of the action. <laughs> Too funny. That is exactly who he, he is. We actually had Miss Lanice Carter, one of our followers, came by this afternoon. And um, there was Osa right in the middle of the floor, right there so she could see him. <laughs> it was so funny. That's what he does. That's where he's happy, in the middle of the action. Um, Kathy Schling on YouTube says, Hi from Ringgold, Georgia. Love watching you. Thank you for being here, Kathy. Thank you so much. Um, Miss Barbara Easley says, I can't believe I caught you live. Good afternoon to both of you. I had wrist surgery yesterday, oh, so I'm actually home goodness. here during the day. Miss Barbara, I'm so sorry to hear you had that. We will pray for your quick healing. Bless your heart. So I'm just taking that and wrapping that stem all the way down. So that's all of the roses. I went ahead and did that to most of them because it takes a little time to do that to all of them. So, okay, I have wired and taped all of my red roses. So these are actually called red heart roses. Um, they are a beautiful variety and this is the variety that I choose every time. If I am going to choose roses, I love this variety. I love its deep color and I love its large petal count. It's such a lovely rose. So we have wired and taped all our roses. So it says, let's read it one more time. It says to take your, let's see, select 14 rose buds, wire and tape them a handful of gypsophilia, and some frondy leaves. Hold the cream rose in your hand and surround it with gyp. So we're gonna hold our cream rose. And I'm not sure the variety of this rose, but it's just an, a creamy colored rose. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna move my roses to the other side of my lovely cat who thinks it's a good time to bathe on my video. Um. Miss Anita Green says, this is almost like old school corsage prep. <laughs> yes, it really is. It really is. So I'm going to take that, um, that baby's breath and I'm going to go all the way around this rose. Allison says, wow, that cream rose looks huge. It is pretty. It's a big rose. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big rose. <laughs> they love seeing Oast. Oh Osa. my goodness, and him just gonna think he needs to be up here bathing on TV. <laughs> hey, please. Please. Um, by a stall, Cowan says, um, y'all need to feed that cat. <laughs> Can you tell? He is so hungry. Y'all, he's been on a diet. And so what I have to do is he thinks he needs a snack throughout the day. And he fusses if you don't give him a snack. So let me tell you what I've done. Is I only give him part of his food. So I measure his food. I only give him part of it. So every time he comes in thinking he needs, <laughs> needs a snack, I give him a little bit more of what I've already measured out. So he's not getting extra food. He's just extra fluffy. No, he's heavy. He really is too heavy. Okay, so we have our rose with our baby's breath or our gypsophilia. Next, we're going to take our red roses and we're going to start coming around. Now, it's going to take a little bit to manipulate these roses to look like a heart, but I'm just going to lay them all the way around. And it said to use 14 red roses, so that's what I have. 
Um, Anita Green, or I missed this earlier. She said, hello from Oklahoma. Can't wait to see this. I love Valentine's Day, my favorite holiday to work in the flower shop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's your favorite to work in the flower shop? Oh, I would not say it's my favorite. Now, it is crazy, and it's, and it's, I don't know. Mm -mm, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I think I'll be glad when I retire from that part. Okay, so I'm going to try to manipulate these stems because they are all on wires. So we're going to try to play with them and make them shaped like a heart. But I bet their roses probably weren't as large as my roses. Um, Jerry Meyer says, I don't often see you use baby's breath. I don't use baby's breath, um, probably ever. And the reason is, is that baby's breath is hard to work with. It's not an easy filler flower to work with, so I do not use it very often. Um, Francis sense. Cruz says, good morning from Guam. Finally able to watch you live. Hello, friend. So thankful you are here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I popped somebody's head off. Oh, snap. Do you need another rose? Yeah. Um, Jeanette Waters says, good evening, great to get you live. Beautiful roses watching from North Wales, UK. Hello, friend. Thank you for being here. So it really looks, it doesn't look like a heart to me. I'm going to pull him out. I told you I figured this was going to be harder than it looked. <laughs> it looks like, and it reads like it's easy, but it's never easy. Hearts aren't easy. Miss Valerie says, Hi, Monty and Victoria. I'm watching my mom today. She has Alzheimer's and will watch you make beautiful flowers. Aww, it makes her smile. I'm so thankful. Thank you for being here. Um, Anna Meyer says, I'm here from Iowa. Had to go back to the doctor. Got more meds. My good friend Ron has cancer throughout his body. Please pray. Thank you. I sure will, sweet friend. Yes, ma'am. We will pray. We sure will. Okay, so it's somewhat of a heart. <laughs> and it's not the prettiest heart you've ever seen. But it's somewhat of a heart. <laughs> Eva says, hello, flower family. Is there anything that you cannot do? You make my day. Oh, girl, there's a lot I can't do, but I will try it. I will never say I, I can't try. Okay, so it's kind of shaped like a heart. We're going to come around and see if maybe we ring it with our baby's breath. If we can make it look a little more like a heart. So we are going to just, I'm just taking that, this baby's breath and I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. And I'm going to come all the way around. Um, Rhea Norman says it's easy when it's a drawing, not so easy with real flowers. <laughs> Absolutely, Rhea. Yeah, it's kind of like your balloons, right? Yeah, it looks like it might be easy. <sighs> but it's never, never as easy as it looks. And I knew it probably wouldn't be, but I thought it would be fun for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so you asked about gypsophilia or baby's breath and why I don't use it very often. Because it breaks and it's kind of clumpy. It's just a really hard filler to make. Hey, Jason, you want a cat? Not really? Oh, did I get on your tail? I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, Betty Young says, good afternoon from Sunny Fight. Why, why can I say this? Fayetteville, um, Arkansas, and she shared Fayette. Fayetteville. Yeah. Thank you. Fayetteville, Arkansas, um, and she shared it. Oh, thank you, friend. Thank you, thank you. So all I'm doing, and you can see they're kind of loose, so that wire is not as easy to, it's not a, a really strong wire. So I'm just going, I'm ringing around the nosegay. This one's not as pretty as the first, but you know. Um, Tanya, the kitty's name is Osa. So Tanya, he was named after the flower Scabiosa. 
Um, we didn't know whether he was female or male when he showed up. He decided that we belonged to him. And so we named him Osa for Scabiosa, which is a beautiful flower. All right. Um, Carrie Lynn Prince says, hello, have you ever used Arrive Alive to ship flowers or do you have any tips for shipping flowers? Yes, now we've never shipped flowers. We don't ever ship fresh flowers, but we have used Arrive Alive. Are those those little packets that you put on the bottom of the stems so that they stay fresh? We've used those for um, flowers in paper and bouquets and such. But we've never shipped, we don't ship fresh flowers. We do deliver, but we don't ship like out of. All right, I tried, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's the thought that counts. Um, Teresa M says, hi there from New York. Would chicken wire help shape your heart? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I used it as an armature, if it would shape. We act like it was really easy, and it's not. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a round bouquet with a rose stuck in a... Um, Gaetana says it is looking very romantic, Monty. It would be beautiful as a bridal bouquet for someone getting married on Valentine's Day. Thank you, Gaetana. Thank you. Okay, let's ring it with a little bit of greenery. Let's see if we can get our shape with our greenery. This greenery wants to be a little... It, it wants to wilt. So I'm afraid... It's because I have such chunky roses. Oh, they're saying it's pretty. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Miss <laughs> Rhonda says it looks it looks a little challenging. It's a little challenging, <laughs> and my roses are a little a little fluffy, like my cat. <laughs> fluffy little red roses, not petite roses. I almost. It's not easy, is it? That looks a little more like a heart. Let's see if I can take him out. I wonder if the chicken wire would help. Because you can, can kind of... But uh, I don't know. Let's see. That's looking a little better, though. Now that I took a few of the roses out. 14 roses, my work. Now that's looking more like a heart. Victoria's like, yeah, if you um, think abstract. <laughs> 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 Victoria's thinking abstract. It looks like an abstract heart. <laughs> um, Rhea says, my Eric is lying in the same position as Osa at the moment. <laughs> Look at these feet. These big feet. <laughs> I love that your cat's name is Eric. <laughs> I love human names for animals. Miss Mary Lou says, does not matter if it looks like a heart, it's beautiful, Mom. Why, thank you. It's looking a little more like a heart, kind of, sort of. Maybe a little tiny. I wonder if. Um, your mama says hello. Hey, mama. Um, Rhea loves it. Thank you, Rhea. Thank they you. They also are saying they love Osa. <laughs> I know. He's so rotten. Okay, um, I'm thinking it's looking a little more like a heart. Is it? I like that greenery in there. Is that better? Um, Saska says, can you remind us what flower is for Febu Fe February? February. I don't know flowers. Why. Okay, so February doesn't really have a cut flower. February's flower is really more of a, um, it's more of a potted plant. So it's a um, violet, an African violet, and a primrose are February's flower of the month, which makes me sad. Why in the world can't we have a cut flower for February? But I think that if ever you think of Valentine's Day, you quite often, I wonder if I pulled him out, you quite often think of the red rose as Valentine's Day. Rhea says Eric's brother is called Billy. I call him Billy Bobs. It's Billy Bobs. So is that look? It's not a heart. Y'all, we pretended. We tried, okay? We tried really hard to get this to look like a heart, and we're not even gonna... Miss Linda said you would need more red roses to make... The only problem is my red roses are so chunky. They're really, really, really very, very chunky. 
And so uh -huh. I've had 14 red roses, but as I added them, it honestly looked more like just a cascading bouquet. Kim said he thought the iris was for February. Well, I looked it up. And so it is showing that it's the primrose and the violet. You gonna look I that up? It was iris too. <laughs> it's a mess. That's a mess. Okay, well, this was fun. <laughs> uh, Miss Julie says my mama was born in February. Feb oh my word. February. Right. Thank you. And her middle name was Viola for the violet. Oh, that's so pretty. How thoughtful was that? I'm glad Mama didn't name me Daffodil. <laughs> Daffodil. But that's so pretty, Viola. It's pretty. Um, Francis Cruz says it's, it's definitely looking like a heart with the added greenery. Thank you, Miss Francis. I'm trying. It's just the thought that counts. It was just for fun. <laughs> It's not for anything in particular. We were just having fun. Um, Norma Baker says, What a fun project for Valentine's. Love catching you live and you trying something new. Always <laughs> enjoy everything you do. Oh, thank you, sweet friend. Thank you for being here. Yeah, this is a job, isn't it? Um, Natalie suggests taking out the, the white rose. And Miss Linda is wondering if maybe if you filled the entire heart in with the red roses, maybe it would look more like a heart. Let's try we can't hurt, can it? Did the book have a what the book? Rose? Yeah, that's the reason I chose mm -hmm. him, and I just broke his head off. We're just gonna leave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the book had the white rose, so that's the. I was just trying to follow the instructions. Come um, on, Miss Dolores says hello. She's happy to be watching us live today. Hello, Miss Dolores. Thank you for being here. Um, Karen Burt says, love your videos. Is your four-legged helper Elvis? <laughs> this is actually Osa. Now, my mama has an Elvis, and he looks exactly like Osa. He looks exactly like Osa, but his name is Elvis, so my mama's cat's name is Elvis. Okay, come on. That's looking more like a heart, I think. What John are y'all thinking? John Miller says maybe a cage would help. <laughs> maybe uh, quit trying to make something that doesn't have any shape. Is that looking more a little more like a heart? If I didn't have. Kind of like a heart. Mess. I bet you could do it with more with more. Red roses. If you, you had them to, to fill, like if you had them filling out the um, this part, the sides where it, you know, where it's supposed to be more rounded, perhaps. Yeah, but if I have to cut off a thousand oh, more I wouldn't, roses, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut off. <laughs> if I have to cut off, okay, maybe it looks more like Mickey uh -huh. Mouse than it does a heart. Uh -huh. Miss Anita says, yes, more like a heart. <laughs> this was not so easy. It looks so easy. Uh, Miss Linda Jester wants to know what this is for. Miss Linda, this is for fun. So several weeks ago, I used this really fun. We got a sweet, um, a sweet lady, just one of our um, little ladies in the community, um, had this book, and it was called Victorian Nosegays. And it, I thought, let's try to make some of the nosegays in this book. So that's my attempt on the Valentine posy, the heart, Valentine heart posy, which is way harder than it looks. Okay, guys, it's so hard. Now, the actual book shows that this posy had a white rose in the center, but I do believe this is looking a oh, little more yeah, like a it, heart. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Um... Yep, they're saying it looks more like a heart. Miss Anita says we're rooting for you, Monty. We're trying! <laughs> it's, it's the thought that counts. We're calling it a heart, okay, guys? We're just going to call it a heart. Um, we're going to pretend. Oh, somebody Mar squeaking. Marguerite Cuzo says, I'd like to order an Osa bouquet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how pleased you would be if you had to get this rotten old guy. He can be so bossy. He just bosses us around. What's bad is that we all just listen. 
don't we, Victor? We <laughs> just all mind. He's just the boss, and we just. Um, Miss Linda, um, Ruggiero says, I had at one time, we had an Elvis, then we found out it was an Ellie, so we keep her at, <laughs> at, as Elvis Ellie. <laughs> Elvis Ellie. We had a male one time, and he, we named him, I don't even know why we named him Mary Jo. I had an Aunt Mary Jo, maybe that's why Robbie named him Mary Jo, but he came out to be a he, and we just called him Mary Jo. He did not know the difference, so we had a Mary Jo that was a boy. Okay, we're calling that pretty. It's not perfect, and you're never going to get it perfect unless you have a heart form. I did see the other day on a video where they had the neatest little form that they were putting. They just fed the roses through this form, and it was kind of like an armature, almost like the um, chicken wire. And they just fed it through. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this eucalyptus because that's just pretty. Um, Miss Carolyn Stewart says, I always thought violet and iris was February's flower. In New Zealand, we would follow the English. Huh. Yeah, I, and I just looked it up today. So if it's iris, I need to order some. But I didn't, I didn't see where it said iris, and we were looking at it the other day. So if you find it, let me know, because I definitely, as our bouquet of the month, we're wanting to do um, the flowers of the month, the birth flower. So, okay, I tried, guys. It's not perfect, but it's kind of a fun it idea. It more like a heart. Does yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So this is actually 13 roses because I broke one. And I pulled the white one out. So this is 13 red roses. Um, Allison says, we thought we had a boy cat, so I named him Zachary. Then found out it was a girl. She just stayed Zachary. Didn't want to change her name on her. <laughs> well, after you've called her that for so long. But, you know, I have one at home. We have Binks and Norman at home. Norman's my old guy. And, um... Norman does not know his name to save his life. I mean, like, he won't even look your way if you call him by his name. But Binks, you can call him by name, and he turns and looks at you. He'll come to you. And Norman's like, I don't even know why that human's talking to me. <laughs> and he is 13 this year, Victoria. Isn't that crazy? My mom had a, had a bird one time that she thought was a boy. And um, we're big history fanatics in our family, so she named him William Wallace. Um, and it turns out that William was not a boy; William was a girl. But we, but it was the same thing. She just she'd been calling her William for so long, so she kept she her name was still William. <laughs> at her whole life. Her whole life, she her name was William. <laughs> All right, so it's fun, right? It's different. Um, and Linda, I wish I had more baby's breath because I wish I would have loved to put more baby's breath in it. Miss Linda says she saw that it was violet and primrose also. Violets and pr yes. Tanya says her bangle cat will turn 17 this October. Oh my goodness. They live a long life if they're, if they're inside and, and don't, <laughs> don't go out gallivanting too much. Um, That's Ms. almost as old as Micah. I know. Miss <laughs> uh, Faye says, we have a bull on our farm named Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Miss Natalie said her sister-in-law had her cats for 22 and 23 years. Goodness gracious. That's a long life. Okay, we're calling it pretty, guys. We're calling it pretty. We're calling it a heart. It's really kind of a blob. But we're calling it a heart. It's art. That's what it is. And we can... It's my interpretation <laughs> of a rose heart. Yep, they like it better without the white rose. I think so, too. It's got one little baby's breath that's sticking in that center. Okay. There is my interpretation of a heart. Cam, uh, Cam Aldridge says, I definitely see a heart. Do you see it, Cam? Do you see it? It doesn't look like love. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I am going to take these stems and I am going to pull off some of this excess foliage. 
And uh, Miss Mary says, what's the cat doing? <laughs> he, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's covering his face because he's so tired. And we're talking too much. <laughs> Goofy Gus. Oh, so. It's like, don't talk. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking some waterproof tape. And I'm holding those stems, and I'm going to wrap that tape right around those stems to hold that in place. Now, y'all, this is not really a flower arrangement that is going to last any amount of time. And the reason is, is because I cut all those stems off so that I could get, make it into a shape. So I could kind of manipulate the stems. So this is not really something that's even feasible. So don't do this at home. <laughs> I mean... If you wanted to do it for a special occasion just for fun but they're not going to be long-lasting flowers okay they're not gonna last a very long time um, but it's kind of fun and kind of different so it does say in our book that you are to take and yeah we really didn't do it like the book said to do but you know it's the thought that counts and, <laughs> and so next we're supposed to take um, we bind the stems together with wire, which I did with tape, and then add cream satin. Well, I didn't really want to add cream satin. You can see that I am just manipulating this. I, we have this beautiful natural scalloped edge ribbon, and this is Victoria's favorite of all the ribbon that we got in. And so it almost looks like a little lacy, it has little lacy edges on it. So I thought, let's do the little lacy. So I'm just gonna take a strip just like that and if I didn't have a cat in the middle of my table <laughs> I would lay the bouquet right here but I'm just gonna take that ribbon and wrap it right around those stem though that tape um Carla and Aline Howard say Monty and Victoria it's a beautiful sunshiny Thursday pray your day has been a wonderful one it's wonderful to hear the fun and laughter you're having today God bless oh I'm so thankful you're here thank y'all for watching so I'm oh I'm sorry that's on your head buddy Rue <laughs> am I bothering you with the maybe you'll get up if I bother you too much so I'm just taking and tying this in a knot and I'm just gonna leave the streamers just kind of hanging down so there is our rendition of a heart posy. It doesn't look anything like the picture, but the other one didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever get them to look like their description, but it is pretty. I mean, it's not bad. It's kind of fun. But mm -hmm. Rhea's right. It's hard when it's a drawing because you can do whatever you want if it's a drawing. Oh, yeah. Victoria <laughs> can make me look just like me. <laughs> but I couldn't do that with, um, with flowers. So it's kind of fun. It's mm -hmm. different. It's heavy. It's a lot of roses. That's heavy. <laughs> but that's 13 red heart roses. They're laughing at Osa, just taking a nap this whole time. No, just <laughs> I think I, after he bathed, he decided he would take a nap. <laughs> so there we go. We tried. We tried. And we'll do another one sometime soon. Um, we'll wait until after Valentine's Day before we try another one. But here is our Valentine rose what is it valentine rose posy heart-shaped valentine posy which doesn't really look like a heart it kind of looks like a blob but there we go that <laughs> is the thought that counts right <laughs> anybody got any questions miss victoria so i wanted to show you really quickly what victoria has gotten several of our brand new bows on our website so i wanted to show you some of the bows that i have tied um because we talked about um with our ribbon that i would put pre-made bows on our website and so i want to show you some of the pre-made bows that we have been working on let me just a second let me grab that real quick it's all of these right here right on this side also, you did have one question. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm trying to get um, the picture back up. Yes. Yes. I mean, yes. If not, I'll tell you. But, um, oh, Miss Kathy on YouTube says it's beautiful. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, everyone's saying it is very beautiful. And you did a good 
job. Um, <laughs> Miss Marilyn has us what would the cost be for a bouquet like that? Okay, so honestly, I probably wouldn't sell a bouquet like that for Valentine's Day. And it's strictly because it's not going to last. And I couldn't sell you, I couldn't sell you for what, I, normally a dozen roses at Valentine's Day here is $95. And because we're cutting the heads off, they're not going to last at all. So I wouldn't sell it. But I would say that's 13 roses. So it's about a hundred, a hundred and five dollars. Um, but they're all cut off and they're not going to last. So you won't, you don't want it. <laughs> not at Valentine's Day. You don't want it. I don't think you would ever want it, honestly, because of the it, because of it's not lasting. Now, how we could make it last is take a large container and cut those roses short and tuck them into fresh floral foam in that heart shape, and that way it would probably last longer. It would definitely if you kept it watered. So I wanted to show you, Victoria. Do you remember the names of all these bows? Um, yes. I you do? So. Okay, so this is one we tied the other day. I showed you this one when we were showing you the ribbon. We tied this one the other day, and this is some, is it botanical? It's a botanic beauty. Botanic beauty, and it's just the green, several of our green ribbons with the, um, the leaf ribbon. It's just really pretty. So we have this one on the website, $12.99. They're about 12 inches across, each of these bows. Um, what was the carrots? So that's the fun carrots. I, I named it, which we can change the name if you, but I tried to do your pun. I think I said I care it for you. I care it for you. And so it's just like fun little carrots. It does have the lacy baby blue in the center. And then this is an orange royal burlap. It's got the um, gingham check and lime green and then the sweet little carrot ribbon. So that's a lot of fun. Again, all of these are roughly 12 inches across and they're $12.99 on the website. And then this was a Valentine. It was just kind of our Valentine ribbon. Yeah. And it has Be My Valentine. And it has the pink and the red royal burlap. And then, what were the bees? Be Happy. Be Happy. And it's just fun little bees. It has like the, um, we had a vertical stripe in the black and white. We use that actually for Halloween. But we do have it. Um, and I thought it would be really cute with our little bumblebees. A yellow gingham check. And then this is a diagonal weave in the yellow. Really pretty. Um, and then this is two and a half inches, two and a half inches in the yellow. And then one and a half inches for the other two. And then what was this one? Um, mint leopard. Mint leopard. So it's kind of a mint green leopard. And this one's kind of sparkly. It has some polka dots and our glitter shimmer in a light gold. And then I can't remember. This glitter shimmer is, what's the name of this one, Victoria? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? What was the name of that glitter shimmer in the um, two and a half inches? Turquoise shimmer glitter. Turquoise shimmer glitter. But just kind of a fun... I love this one, and I love the natural looking mm -hmm. one of that one. And then this one is the hummingbirds. What was the hummingbird? Um, it's called um, pastel hummingbirds. Pastel hummingbirds, and I added just a little sprig of green into the center of this one. I made this one the other day on the live, but I thought to pull the green from the back, I added just a touch of green in the center. Um, and we have about four others that we're gonna, we've got more. <laughs> But these are the ones that we've got up on the website. Do know that if ever you want a bow and you don't see the color combination that you want, we are so happy to do a combination um, that you choose. So you can either call us at the flower shop or you can message us and we're happy to make your color combination that you choose. They're loving the bows. Aren't those fun? So fun. And these are perfect for any kind of wreath. You could put it on a grapevine wreath and spring it up. You could do whatever. Uh, Cam asks, how much is the carrot? The carrot twelve ninety nine. They're all twelve ninety nine. And if you use the um, promo code Spring, you're going to get fifteen percent off. Fifteen percent off um, your whole order. The website wide is fifteen percent off if you use the promo code Spring. But just kind of a, some fun bows. And so we wanted to be able to kind of mix and match. We are going to try to link up underneath the bows. It's been a job. We're trying to figure it out. But try to link up underneath. If you don't want to buy the pre-done bow, but you want to buy all the ribbons that are in the bow, we're going to try to have links so you can just click on those and purchase those. We're trying to figure that out. It's a little hard. 
<laughs> Victoria is working on it. Um, Miss Marilyn says that is very inexpensive. The the bouquet, I assume she said her husband sent her 25 roses for their 25th anniversary, and he paid 385 plus tax up here in Canada. Wow. But now Canada is a long way <laughs> from Miami. And so that's where we get all of our flowers. We're not nearly as far. I bet the shipping is what, um, what eats you up going to Canada. Um, because our shipping is not terrible. But I bet the flower shop is probably paying for the flower itself what I pay. But I bet your shipping to Canada is something else. Um, but I don't know. But I bet it is. I bet that's a lot of shipping. Because just to Mississippi, it, it seems pricey. Uh, Miss Vicky says, Hi from Canada, ladies. Loving those bows. To you, they're easy to make, but to some, it's such a help. Absolutely. And, you know, that's exactly what I was talking to Victoria. I said, you know, I have found that if you give them an idea of what goes together, number one, that makes shopping so much easier. Number two, if you have a hard time tying a bow, I would so be willing to pay for a bow that's pre-made um, and stick it right on my wreath. It would be so much easier. Um... But yes, and I tell you, all of these bows, if you like this style, every one of them can be made on our bow maker. Um, and I am happy to do another tutorial with the bow maker to show you how that is. You're just sleeping, huh, bud? <laughs> just passed out up here. Um, Stall Garden says the stem price and shipping are a lot more in Canada. Yeah, I figured that much. I figured that they were going to be so much more expensive. It's really probably that shipping that's so, so much more expensive. Um, David Sharp says, hey, from North Vernon, Indiana, I can use some prayers. I had colon cancer. They took out the cancer, and I'm now doing chemotherapy till June. David, 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 we will certainly pray for you. Yes, sir, I will certainly put you on my prayer list, and we will lift you up in prayer. Um, I don't, don't see, see any more questions. They're loving the bows. Thanks, they love guys. The thank you, thank you. And again, these are all available on our Shopify website, and I will link that um, if anybody is interested, I am so happy to link that for you. Guys, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for taking your afternoon to watch me um, finagle a bouquet that did not turn out to be much like a heart, but we tried, right? It's always fun to do something different, and I appreciate y'all being here to cheer me on. If you would do me a favor over here on Facebook, like this video. And if you would sprinkle it, that would be wonderful. And sprinkle just means to share. And you too, over here on um YouTube. If you would like this video, I would so appreciate it. Um, let me tell you, we are doing a giveaway right now. Uh, and if you on YouTube would check us out over on Facebook, I'm going to run grab that book real quick, Victoria. You got a question? Um, she said, I'm someone, Miss, Miss Kathy said she couldn't find the new bows on our website. Um, are they up there now? Did you just put them up to um, yes. Oh, the bows, the bows. Sorry, my brain was registering. Um, the bows, these specific bows, we have a few more that I have yet to put up, but these specific bows, yes, should be up on our Shopify, not on our, um, flowersbythebunch.biz, not that website. I'll put a link. Yes. I'll put a link for you so that you can get right to the bows. Um, okay, so we are going to start, it'll probably be probably two and a half weeks before we start this devotion book. We have been doing our daily devotion um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We do a daily devotion about 8 o'clock in the morning, and we have been doing Go For It by Melissa Horvath. And gosh, it has been, I think we're 80 80 devotions in, and I think there were 90 total in that book, and I do them about three times a week. So, it's time to choose a new devotion, and I chose this one. Actually, I received one as a gift at Christmas, and I thought, that's the perfect book. I love Lisa Turkhurst. I don't know if you've ever read any of her books, but Lisa did a 100 devotions to know God is holding you close, and it's called Embraced. And so, if you're interested in a giveaway, please check out... Um, I posted first thing this morning about 8 o'clock, and I will try to post it every day so that you see that post. I'll try to repost it, but if you'll go there and enter our drawing, I'm going to give two of these away, 
and we will draw for these on Monday during the live in the afternoon. So if you would go and try and and enter the drawing for um, two people will win these, so that's fun. But it's just a, it's a hardback book, and it's called Embraced by Lisa Turker. So it's just a pretty hardback book. So I'm so excited about getting started with this, but I thought we needed to do the go the um, giveaway right this second because I need to get it chipped to you before we get started. So be sure to to get in that drawing. Any more questions? Um, Miss Mary Lou asks, how much would shipping be for the bows? Um, I think it's what seven fifty um, for up to fifty dollars worth of in. I, how does that work, Victoria? You know the words. My words won't come. Um, I think I don't know the exact prices, but I know it's seven fifty up until you spend a certain amount, and then it's twelve fifty. But I think twelve fifty isn't it typically for orders over that cost over a hundred? No, twelve fifty is over fifty dollars. I think okay. worth of um whatever if you buy more than fifty dollars worth, it's a twelve fifty delivery. Um, and then if you spend a hundred dollars, you get free shipping. That's what um. Good. Isn't that right? It's free so. shipping on $100 or more. Um, but it is $750 for shipping. But now these will be boxed and they will be pinned down in the box. So they're already fluffed. They come to you just like this, already fluffed and pretty. Um, and we will hand make them. As you order them, you'll get a handmade bow. And we'll send you a sweet note. <laughs> and thank you so much for ordering from us. We also, um, I want to thank you guys for placing orders. Um, we have shipped out several orders. We shipped out several today and we've got several going out tomorrow. But thank you, thank you for supporting us. Y'all, we love you so much and we appreciate you supporting us. Um, Natalie asks, how do you enter the drawing? So I, if you'll go today's post on Flowers by the Bunch on Facebook, if you'll scroll back to the very first post today, you're gonna see a picture of this book and it'll tell you exactly how to enter the drawing. So um, just follow the, the little message. But you're going to see a picture of this book. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. But it's just a turquoise book. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We will be tomorrow afternoon to make some more pretty flowers. I appreciate you all so much. If you have any questions, comments, any of the things, let us know. We're so happy to answer any questions you might have. Guys, we'll see you soon. Have a great day.